Welcome to World Architecture Festival 2015. I'm Paul Finch and I've been the Programme Director of the Festival since we launched in 2008. And the purposes of this short message is to say a few words about our judging process, uh, which is a fantastic international venture. We have judges from usually between 50 and 60 countries uh, at the festival. Uh, it's truly international, uh, we have a variety of, of judges and this is how it works. When you submit your entries, they get sorted into the categories that you've nominated and we do a shortlisting judging in London this year that will be taking place in mid-May. And we use London and UK judges with international experience and we also invite um, previous WAF judges or people from this year's jury who may be passing through London at that time to join in. We pair the judges and each pair look at a series of categories. As you know, the entries are anonymous. The judges don't know whether an entry might have been submitted in more than one category. So it's kind of good, clean judging. And the task of those judges is really to pick uh, the best of the entries that they see on the day. They don't do individual scoring. It's really the ones that they like best for all round reasons. And you as architects will know that if you're looking at a series of designs, you'll remember this from college, um, it's usually possible to pick the, uh, the better examples. We do a double check afterwards to make sure that there aren't any uh, gems left in the box that we think ought to be included. So we all, always have a bit of capacity to add to the shortlist, which are a maximum usually of about 16 in each category. And we then move on to judging at the festival itself. Now for those of you who've been there, you'll know how this works. We take a category, let's say cultural buildings, we have a short list of 16 projects, which might be by 16 different architects, or occasionally there's an architect that has more than one entry uh, as a finalist. And there are presentations in a crit room, which takes place uh, on Wednesday and Thursday at the festival. Uh, and you could sit in a single room and look at, let's say, 16 cultural buildings along with other delegates, but most importantly, three judges. Now those judges are chosen on the basis of firstly, architects who won that category the previous year, and of course they won't be able to enter if they're a judge. Secondly, usually one of our media partners, an editor or critic, and thirdly, somebody with all-round architectural experience, sometimes people that we've used before, sometimes people that have been recommended by other judges, uh, but always, uh, as far as we can, um, different countries. So we would have three, uh, three different countries uh, represented on that panel. Now, at the end of two days of crit room judging, with multiple categories, we end up, uh, rather like a dog show actually, we have a series of winners who are best in breed, best office, best cultural building, uh, best religious building, and so on. On the third day of the festival, all those category winners get the chance to represent, to present again um, in uh, four sections, uh, completed buildings, future projects, interiors and landscape to fresh juries, super juries we describe them uh, as being, um, with slightly bigger names, maturer uh, judges, uh, who then have the, the, the tough choice to make of the best in show awards, so the best completed building, best future project, best interior and best landscape. And they do that on the basis of the same presentations that delegates and those other jurors would have heard uh, on the Wednesday and Thursday. So it's a, it's a process of uh, elimination, but more importantly, it's a process of premiating what the judges think 
uh, are the best buildings and projects, of, in this case for this year 2015. And we think that over the years, uh, our judges have done us proud. We are not um, stylistically preferential to one approach over another approach. Um, we've had winners by well-known architects and winners by almost completely unknown architects, at least unknown on the international stage, uh, who've gone on to great things uh, subsequently. And of course we've had the opportunity to see architects who first came to WAF and they were relatively young, coming through winning categories and eventually becoming judges or even super jurors. This year, for example, uh, Sue Fujimoto, who won a category back in 2008, uh, is on our super jury uh, with other architects, including Sir Peter Cook, uh, Kerry Hill from Singapore and Australia, uh, and Manuel Gautron um, from uh, Paris. I hope that's uh, helped to explain our processes. You will find uh, a clear diagram and a clear explanation, not just of how the judging works, but also the sorts of criteria of the judges.